This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, uh, let's start. I hope it's audible to everyone. <coughs> okay, right. So let's start with the programming part. So in the last class, we discussed about the difference between what uh, standard objects and what custom objects. We understood that standard objects are the objects uh, what provided by what SAP itself. Okay, standard objects are the objects which are provided by SAP itself. Okay, custom objects means what are the new objects that we are going to develop on behalf of our customer specific requirements. We call them as what the custom objects or we call it as what Z objects. Okay, so as I told you to connect to the SAP server. We need to install what uh, SAP GUI software, SAP graphical user interface. So whenever we install this SAP GUI software, you will get the logon pad on the desktop. So let me just uh, try to connect to the server. Right. So I'm connecting to what EHP seven enhancement pack seven. Okay. Logon. So by default, it is going to show me the client as we understood in the last classes. Uh, development client quality client and production client will be associated with what uh, a unique identification called as what client each client is nothing but what three digit number which is a collection of what users okay so here let me connect to the server so I'll give the credentials the user ID and password done the default login language is what English so the version we are using is what EHP 7 Okay, enterprise central component 6.0 including HP 7. So let me connect right. So if you are successfully connected to the SAP system, you will get this particular initial screen, which we call it as what SAP easy access screen. Okay, so to begin with, <coughs> let us see how to develop the executable programs. Okay, so as part of a map, we are going to develop a different types of what objects okay one of the object is what executable program okay so to develop this particular executable program we require what ABAP editor we require a tool called as ABAP editor the transaction code for this tool is what SE 38 so here so I'll go to in the what initial screen in the easy access screen in the standard toolbar as part of standard toolbar we have this command field the cursor is blinking this box we call it as what command field where we provide the T codes okay so let me give the command field so in the command field I'll give the T code what I see 38 it will open me a tool called as what ABAP editor okay you can visualize this ABAP editor similar to what turbo C editor in C C plus we have turbo C editor here we have what ABAP editor then here it is asking the program name so since I want to develop my own program, my own object, what you will do, you will start your objects with what? Z or what? Y. We pronounce it as what? Z object. So I'll give Z. Okay. I'll give the what? Object name as something. Z645. Anything. Uh, apart from special characters, you can give anything. But make sure that you start with the Z or Y. So I'll give the program object name as something. Z645. What program one anything you can give okay any name you can give so for your batch let me follow the sequence Z645 program one this is the object name since it is starting with the Z it will not ask you for any access key okay so let me click on create button when I click on create button done here it is uh, asking for the title Okay, let me give any of the title. So let me give the title as something. Uh, my requirement is I want to develop a simple object, simple program, which has to perform the sum of what two numbers. Okay, very simple. We'll start with a very basic level. Okay, so I want to develop a simple object, which has to display me the what sum of what two numbers. So I'll just give the title as something. Some title I'll give. I'll give the title as something uh, what something arithmetic operations something okay some meaningful title I am giving done then 
uh, rest of thing is simple uh, who is the user who is creating this particular object sap user he is called as what owner of the object the person the consultant who develops the objects is called as what owner so this is my user id then it is asking the type of object what type of object you want to develop so if you see the drop down you will have different types of objects we will be discussing most of these things so i'll choose what executable program so, so initially we will focus only on what executable program i'll choose the executable program click on what save button okay so when i click on save button then it is asking what package so la, la, already in the last class i told a package is like a what it's like a directory it's like a folder which is a collection of what objects okay so here also here also package like a directory which is a container of what objects what are the objects that we are developing those objects you have to store it in a transportable package then only we can transport the object from development client to what quality client but at this stage we don't know how to create the package and where to create the package so since we don't have any package available i'll click on what local object but in the real time what happens okay on behalf of your project a package will be available all the consultants all the web consultants will store their objects in that particular package okay so later on we'll see how to create our own package as of now let me click on local object so when i click on local object what happens your object will go and sit in a package called as what dollar tmp dollar tmp is a default package provided by what sap means whenever we install this sap server as part of that server you'll have some built-in packages one of the package is what dollar tmp nothing but what temporary package okay so i'll give the i'll click on local object so what is the type of object i'm developing executable program okay so when i click on local object and you can see here it is starting with what keyword here report keyword so what you have to understand is now onwards is any object which is starting with report keyword okay any object which is starting with report keyword you have to understand that as what executable program okay each type of object will start with what different keyword okay going forward will develop module pool programs module pool program starts with what program keyword okay if i go for what uh, subroutine pool we have another type of program called as subroutine pool again it starts with what program keyword okay so like that different types of objects will start with what different keyword so anything starting with report keyword you have to understand that as what executable program okay done this is my object name these are all the comments line starting with star indicates what comment okay it is only for what documentation purpose it will not be executed if you want you can keep this uh, things as it is or you can delete it okay so let me delete that done okay so what is my requirement now i want to develop a simple object which has to perform the sum of uh, two numbers okay we have to perform the sum of uh, two numbers so uh, most of you might be aware of something about what c language so if you take the same requirement in c language how do we do it okay it's a first you'll include some header files like you'll say hash include stdao.h okay then uh, you'll take a function called as what main function something like this void main then what you what is my requirement to perform the sum of what two numbers okay means i need to store some two integers i need to perform the calculation store the calculation in a third variable and display that particular variable so how do we achieve that in our uh, c c plus c or java you will declare some variables how do you declare integers in c language you will say int i'll declare some variables x comma y comma z okay so this is how you declare variables in what c c plus c java then you will assign some data something like this x equal to y y equal to 20 then you will say z equal to what x plus y then you have to print the value of what z so for that in c language we have a statement called as printf and then you'll have some format specifies then you'll print the value of what z something like this so this is the way you write your logic in our what c c plus plus you'll declare the variables you'll initialize the variables you'll perform the calculation and then 
display the value of that particular variable. So what is a variable? It is the one which is capable of storing the data. Okay, if you want to store any data, we require what variable. So I declared three variables here. So here also, in my case also, I want to declare how many variables? Three variables. So why three variables? Two variables I have to store the value, and the third variable I have to store the calculation. Okay, so that's the reason we require three variables. Okay, so we need to decide what kind of variables you have to declare. Okay, whether you have to declare integer, character, float, date, or time, whatever it is. Okay, so in my case, I want to store what some integers. So I want to declare some integers. So to declare any variable in ABAP, we use what keyword? Data keyword. Okay, every programming language okay will contain some reserved keywords means whenever we install that software as part of that software you'll have what some keywords so here also if you observe int is what it's a keyword void is also what keyword okay right so you'll have some uh, predefined keywords in every programming language similar in abap also we have some keywords or we call them a statement so in case of abap to declare variables what is the keyword we use data keyword data is a keyword okay so you can observe here it is appearing in blue color so this indicates what it is a reserved keyword which is a given by what sap itself so data i have to give some variable name you can give any name i can give like this a b c x y z whatever it is so instead of giving lengthy variable name for the time being let me give short variable name so i'll give it as what x type what i okay here i indicates what integer in C, C plus Java, we use what INT keyword. Here we use what I. Understood? Data X type I. And as we know, every statement in ABAP should end with what dot period, which indicates what end of the statement. So from year to year, it is considered as what one statement. Then I require one more variable. Now. So I'll say data Z type I. Sorry. Okay. Any name you can give. I'll give it as data Y type I. Okay. Or I require a one more variable, so I'll say data z type i. Am I clear? So I am declaring the variables. How many variables are declared here? Three variables. So these three statements I am writing in one line only now. So whenever you are developing any object, I mean to say program, we have to take care of what readability also. Understood? We need to take care of readability. Means by looking at the program, I should be able to understand what exactly that statement indicates. So we should focus on what? Readability of the program. So how do we ensure the readability? Instead of writing all the statements in a single line, I can write like this. It will work fine because the moment you give dot, it indicates what? End of the statement. So from year to year, it is considered as one statement. Again, this is another statement. But instead of writing everything in the same line, okay, let us maintain the readability. So what I'll do, I'll declare it in what multiple lines so this will increase the readability of the line so i declared what three variables what are the variable names here x y z and what kind of variables they are i i means what integer okay to store integers we go for what i okay and data and this type are what keywords data is a keyword used for what declaring variables type indicates what kind of data type you want to declare okay so I declare like this. So if you take our C, C plus Java, I am able to declare all the variables. I am able to declare multiple variables at a time. I am able to declare multiple variables at a time. So here if you take in our context, for declaring three variables, I used data keyword three times. Okay. So instead of doing like this, instead of doing like this, what is my requirement? I want to declare multiple variables by using what single keyword that is single data keyword i have to use i should be able to declare what all the three variables how do we do it i can do like this but instead of doing like this instead of repeating that keyword again and again let me comment this so for your reference i'll comment it comment is what it is only for documentation purpose it will not be executed so how do you comment again if you take our c language to comment a single line You'll, do, you'll say what slash slash to come in group of lines what you'll say you'll say slash star and here you'll say something like this so what are you enclose between this they are considered comments okay that is in case of what c c plus and java 
here in case of a verb to comment a single line okay at the beginning of the line you have to say what star okay star indicates what entire line will be commented here also i'll give what star okay so i'm commenting what three lines so instead of giving star for every line one by one if you want to comment them at a time what you will do just you'll select the lines okay which are lines you want to comment which are the block of lines you want to comment you select the lines hold the control key on the keyboard hold the control key and press less than symbol you'll get what star so that the entire selected block is all commented if you want to uncomment what i can do select the lines and again hold the control key and press what greater than symbol this is for what uncommenting so this comes only by what practice done so let me comment so what is my requirement in sub declaring these three variables by using three different data keywords i want to declare it in a single statement so what i'll do here okay or acha from the middle of the line if you want to comment what you will use you will use double quotes whatever you write after double quotes it is considered as what comment okay so here i'll say or see suppose if i uncomment this line from year to year it will be executed what or you write after double quotes it is considered as what comment it will not be executed okay so i don't want to comment this also at the beginning of the line you have to use what star done so now i'll say data so i want to declare multiple variable so you have to use colon nothing but what we pronounce it a chain operator if you are performing multiple operations using a single keyword we use what chain operator it is colon only but we pronounce it as what chain operator okay when we have to use a chain operator when you are doing multiple operations okay when you are doing multiple operations using a single keyword we use what chain operator okay so data colon i'll say something what x type i if i give period it indicates what end of the statement So if it is the end of the statement, again I have to use what data keyword. So instead of using uh, what period, I have to use comma. Comma will act as what separator. Comma will act as what separator. Okay, x type i, comma y type i. After comma, you need not give any space. Even if you give also, even if you give also, no problem. Even if it doesn't give also, not a issue. Comma will act as separator. Okay, x type i, y type i. What else? z type i now i'll give what period so here i'll give the period so from year to it is considered as what one statement only so again in some writing everything in the single line to increase the readability i'll put it in what next line just i'll put it in a proper formatting so i like this okay so till you give period it indicates what same statement so from year to year it is considered as what single statement So what is the difference between these two approaches? Here I used three different data keywords. Here I used only one data keyword. Using that one keyword, I am able to declare what multiple variables. And each variable you have to separate with what comma. And since you are doing multiple operations using a single keyword, you have to use a chain operator. Okay. Hope it's clear to everyone so far. Done. Yeah, any questions so far? Those are very new to ABAP. Any questions? Please ask me. <clears throat> okay. So if there are no questions, fine. Now, what is my next requirement? I declare three variables. Now, I need to initialize my variables. Now, I need to store some data in my variables okay so how do we store the data i'll say something x is equal to what 10 x is equal to 10 i'll say y is equal to 20 i'll say z is equal to what x plus y okay so i'm initializing the variables i'm performing some calculation then what i have to do i have to print the value of what z so in c language we use printf in c plus we use c out in java we use system dot out dot print ln similarly in abap also to display the value of any variable we have to use what statement write statement so i'll say write 
z okay so i'll get some errors will rectify that error so what is the approach i'm following first i'm declaring the variables them and initializing the variables i'm performing the calculation storing the result in the required variable then i'm displaying the value of a variable okay so this is my object let me check whether i'll get any syntax errors okay so what you have to do now in order to execute first you have to save it control s then you have to check for the syntax errors control f2 so on the standard toolbar we have the save button i'll click on the control s yeah what i got here program is what saved program is saved then check for what syntax error so control f2 on the application toolbar we have this check button control f2 so when i say control f2 Ah, good i got a syntax error what is this here statement x equal to 10 is not defined check your spelling statement x equal to 10 is not defined check your spelling so i am getting an error in which line 11th row in the 11th line i am getting an error statement x equal to 10 is not defined so why we are getting i believe in the last week i told when i am discussing about programming rules ABAP is what space is sensitive. ABAP is space is sensitive. So you need to maintain minimum one space between the variables. We need to maintain minimum one space between the variables. Since I have not maintained the space here, I am getting the syntax error saying that so and so statement is not defined. Check your spelling. So what is the change I have to do? Okay, again for your reference for your reference i'll just comment it okay and here how do you comment from the middle of the line double quotes so if i leave it like this you'll get what syntax error so when you're practicing in the system what you have to do i'll send the program as it is okay what you have to do is you just uncomment this uncomment this and practice so that you'll understand that if you give like this you'll get what error am i clear that's the reason i'm keeping this as a comment for your reference. So how do you comment from the middle of the line? Double quotes. Whatever you write after double quotes is what? Comment. So what is the change I have to do now? I have to maintain minimum what? One space. X equal to 10. Here also Y equal to 20. And here also Z equal to X plus Y. So minimum I need to maintain one space between the variables and what? Operators. Okay. Done. Right. So again for your reference I will give a comment here. This is called as what? Variable declaration okay this is variable declaration and this is nothing but what initial sorry this is nothing but what initialization initialization okay here i am just doing some addition and then i am displaying the so what i am trying to show is Almost for every line, I'm trying to maintain comment. It is always good practice to maintain the comments for most of the lines so that in future, if some other person has to modify this code, by looking at that comment, you will understand the purpose of that particular statement. The purpose of that particular statement. Understood? So in most of the projects, they'll also check for these things, whether you have maintained the comments or not. So it's always recommended to maintain the comments for most of the statements. Okay. So this is nothing but called as initialization. I am doing some calculation here and then I am displaying the value of the variable. Done. Let me save it. Control S. Let me check for syntax errors. Control F2. Yeah, I don't have any errors. Program is syntactically correct. Then what is the status of the object? Inactive. So always we know that in real time. Every object we have to transport from development system to quality system. In order to transport, the object should be in what active state. So here also, anyhow, we are not going to do any transportation at this stage. But make a practice to activate the object. How do we activate? Control F3. So let me activate. So since I saved it in the local object, the local object tab is highlighted and this is your object and just click on what continue. The object is auto selected here. You need not do anything. Just if you get this window, just click on continue button, enter. Then the object is what active, then I need to what execute it. How do we execute F8? Okay, on the application toolbar, we have the button direct processing. So when I click on this, yes, I got the result as what 30. Understood? So I got the result as 30. 
okay and if you want to go back to the program every but every screen in sap contains a back button what is that function here f3 i can press what f3 or you can click on this that so this is a simple way to develop the code so what we understood from this code is how to declare the variables how to write the comments and how to display the value of the variables any questions in this please ask me okay so if there are no questions fine so what is my requirement here is when i execute okay i got the result as 30 but always you have to keep what you have to keep end user in mind end user in the i mean to say you need to keep customer in mind okay so we are not developing these objects for our purpose we are developing it for what customer purpose okay so that means by looking at this you should understand what you are trying to show here here i'm just giving 30 here what does it indicate there is no meaningful information here so what i have to what i want to do i want to just give a message like sum of two numbers is a 30 sum of two numbers is 30 so what i'll do is let me keep this as it is okay again i want to reprint that z value so what i'll do right if i do like this again you'll get what same 30 so let me activate I got the same 30 okay understood i got in the same line if you want in the next line you'll say what slash slash indicates what here new line so when i execute I, again i got the result 30 but what i want this time i want to show a meaningful text like sum of two numbers is 30. so sum of two numbers is a collection of characters no? nothing but what string string means what group of characters set of character so how do we enclose things in a map you have to enclose it in a single code so here i'll say in single quotes i'll say something okay sum of what two numbers is okay close the single code so this is from year to year it is what a string it is a string and the z is what it is an integer variable so i need to separate this string variable I mean it's a string data and this particular variable how do you separate two variables here by using what comma by using comma okay but you can see here i got it in red color why i got in red color because i am using only one keyword what is that keyword right keyword but i am trying to perform multiple operations i am trying to print what a string and i am trying to print the value of a variable so i am trying to print two things by using what single keyword so i got red color in the line which indicates that there is some syntax error so when i try to do syntax checks here control s when i say control f2 yes i got an error comma without preceding colon after right so what is the syntax in which line 16th line okay comma without preceding colon after right so why i am getting the error because i am trying to print two things by using a single keyword so already we know whenever you are performing multiple operations using single keyword we have to use what chain operator so what i mean to say is chain operator is not only for data keyword it can be used for all the keywords wherever you are performing multiple operations using single keyword so here since i am not using the chain operator i am getting what error so again i'll keep this for your reference so I'll say start. So here I'll be in double quotes what syntax error. So when you're practicing, what you have to do? You uncomment and practice so that when you do syntax check, you will understand this error message. Am I clear? If you get errors only, we'll become strong. Okay. So done. I'm just commenting it. So what is the adjustment I have to do? I have to use what chain operator. So let me copy this. Sum of two numbers. Okay. So here I have to use what? colon call indicates what chain operator here. okay so save check it no errors done when i execute i got the result here i got only the plain value 30 here i got sum of two numbers is what 30 sum this is string and this is your integer variable okay so i'll try to give space here so save check no errors done 
when I exhibit, I got the same result. Understood? So don't focus on where to give space and where not to give space. It comes with practice. Okay? So I got the result as what? Something 30. Understood? So I am using chain operator both for data keyword as well as for write keyword. Going forward, I'll use it for some other keywords also. Done. Now, when I execute, okay, I got the result as what? Sum of two numbers is 30. You can observe here, uh, in this 30, I got a space here. In, the, in this given space, in this given space, 30 is coming in the right hand side. Why I'm getting this 30 in the right hand side in this particular space? 30 is stored in which variable? It is stored in what? Z. Z is declared as what type? I. I indicates what? Integer. Okay, so already we know uh, somewhere in the last week I told uh, we have numeric data types and character data types. Numeric data types are right justified, character data types are left justified. Since integer comes under, since integer comes under what? Numeric data type, okay? Uh, what you have to do, you have to, uh, that's why we are getting it what right hand side because numeric data types are what right justified. So my requirement now is when I execute, okay, I got the result, but I don't want in the right hand side. I want to print this 30 in the left hand side. Means I want to change the justification of this particular uh, value. By default, I am getting what right hand side. I am not specifying any justification, but by default, I am getting right hand side because Z is what integer. Integer comes under numeric data types. Numeric data types are always what right justified. But I want it what left hand side. So see the change here. I'll say once again I'll print it. I want it in the new line. Sum of two numbers is Z space. After Z, okay, after Z, I will use some addition or we call them as options, okay. I will use an addition called as, see, left justified. See, I am typing L here. When I am typing L, I got a smart help here, okay. I got a smart help or you call it as a tool tip kind of thing. This is the moment you type L, I got some smart help. If you want to make use of that, press tab. So if you press tab, you'll get that entire line. Okay, so these are called about additions. Additions, options, related to which statement here, right statement. So what is the option I'm using? I'm using this addition, I'm using left justified. Let's see whether I'll get in the left hand side. Done, yes. I got in the left hand side here, 30. Okay, similarly I want it in the right uh, center. Okay, so what I'll do, let me reprint it once again. Here I'll say, I'll type C, I got a smart help centered. Done, check it, done, execute. Okay, so I got in the center. So by default, numeric data types are what? Right justified. If you want to change the justification, you have to use these additions. Left justified, right justified, or centered, whatever. These are all called as what? Additions, or we call them as what? Options. Related to what statement? Right statement. Right is the main keyword here. Relate to this keyword, relate to this statement, you'll have some additions, okay? So how do we know these additions? How do we know what are the additions related to right statement? How do we know that means you have to check the documentation. Understood? To know the options, I mean to say, are we called as additions? To know the additions related to any keywords, okay, we need to refer to what documentation. Okay, so how do you refer to documentation? Suppose I'll put the cursor on the right statement. I'll put the cursor anywhere on the right statement and press what? F1. When you press F1, you'll get the online documentation. So when you press F1, I press F1 key, I got the documentation. I have keyword documentation. So I'm interested to know about what? Right statement. Okay, I can click anywhere here. I'll just double click on the first entry. Right above statement, I'll just click on this. So it is opening me the documentation. Okay, so related to right statement, it is showing me the syntax. Syntax in the sense, what are the options you have to use, how to use them. Okay, it will give the detailed information about that. So if you see it, this statement formats the content of the data objects and writes it to the current pair of the current list in the list buffer. Okay, am I clear? So, it is showing me the information related to what? 
right statement. So you can see this is a syntax. Again, don't try to understand everything in a single stretch. It will come by practice. So you can see here, this is a main keyword, right? Related to that, we have many options. No gap, so on, so under, at, so on, so on, okay? We have some options here. Internal formatting options and external formatting options, okay? So let me click on this internal formatting options. If I click on this, ah, see here, related to this, okay? I am getting what? Some additions. What are they? Left justified or centered or what? Right justified. Am I clear? Okay, so these are all the different options. It is not possible to discuss all the options in a single stretch. During the course, whichever option is relevant for our requirement, we should know how to use it and where to use it. Am I clear? So one of the additions is what? Left justified, center right justified. If I click on this, it is showing the information about that. So, okay, if I click on this, then this addition determines addition or we call it as option this addition determines whether the content of the source field that is formatted according to the other option is adjusted within the available level to the right center or the left okay so how do we open the documentation related to any keyword put the cursor on that keyword and press what f1 so it is important to know how to use this documentation also Blindly, we cannot use it. We should know how to use it. So it comes again by what? Practice and exposure, okay? So if I click on this external formatting option, I get it is giving some option, okay? So we have different additions here. So what to use when we understand going forward. Okay, let me go back here. I am adding the back button, previous document. So like this, we should refer to the documentation. Suppose I want to know about more about data keyword. I want to know what are the options relate to my data keyword so i'll put the cursor here i'll put the cursor i'll press what f1 okay you can see here related to data again we have many options here okay using predefined types like this they give some syntax examples we'll have the examples also okay everything will be available in the documentation okay so we should know how to use the documentation Done. So, any questions so far? Please ask me. Now, I know this is kind of boring uh, for some of you, but uh, already I told we assume that we are very new to our app and we'll start from very basic level. Any questions? Please ask me. <coughs> there are many people missing today. There are 13 members are there, but only 8 are connected. Any questions, Syed, Nirima, Jason, Chinna, Ram, Srikant, Vamshi? Sir, hello. Yes. Uh, uh, Syed. Sir. Uh, in Java C++, we declare the variables, means integer variable separately, the character variable separately. Correct. Yes? Yes, correct. Uh, and now for, for this for displaying right statement some of the two number is z this uh, we have declared that uh, it is a character type data type how no is it okay in uh, uh, no, no. where i declare character here i declare only integers no? they are all integers integers yes okay so in the right statement but for displaying we yeah. need to correct, correct this is not a variable now it is directly a value Variable means if you declare anything by using data, we call it as a variable. Here in the right statement, what I am doing direct, okay. directly, I am putting the character value. I am not putting that in another variable. If I put that in another variable, then I should declare okay. a character variable. But this is not a variable now. It is directly a value. I am displaying okay. character. I am directly displaying character value and interior value. So if you display multiple things using the right statement, you have to use a chain operator. Okay. 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 Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Others? Any doubts? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So now, uh, what I did here, I declared three variables. Okay, and then I have done the initialization separately, so on. So. 
if you take our java context or c c plus plus i can say like this in text equal to 10 y equal to 20 z something like this i can say z equal to what x plus y so what i am trying to show here is in c c plus java at the time of declaring the variable only we are able to initialize at the time of declaring the variable only we are able to initialize here what i did i declared variables first then separately i am doing the initialization now what is my requirement my requirement is i want to declare a variable as well as initialize at the same time okay so let's see how to do it so instead of writing it in a separate program let me do it in the same program so here okay i'll use a keyword called a uline uline is what underline see when i execute what i got here line underline horizontal line you will get okay it's not compulsory that i have to use uline but just to separate my output i am using what uline done so what is my requirement now i want to declare two variables at the time of declaration only i want to initialize okay so how do you do it again i have to use what data keyword understood again i cannot declare a variable with the same name now a program cannot contain two variables with the same name suppose if i say again data x type i obviously i'll get what error so when i do syntax check control s control f2 i got an error x has already been declared a program cannot contain two variable declarations with the same name okay so obviously this will give syntax error i'll keep this for your reference syntax error done now i'll say data i'll use what chain operator because i want to declare multiple variables at a time okay so x x and y is already available so i'll say something v1 type i something some name v1 type i what is my requirement at the time of declaration only i want to initialize so in the earlier example what i did i used the right statement i used some additions related to that like left justified and centered similarly related to the data statement also we have a keyword called as we have a option called as what value data v1 type i value something 20 something comma i'll declare another variable v2 type i i'll say something value 25 so what i am doing here i am declaring two variables i can give any name okay of type what integer at the time of declaration only i am initializing okay so for your reference again i'll give a comment here what it is called as declaration and what initialization declaration and what initialization okay so value is a keyword used for what initializing the variables at the time of declaration then i require one variable for storing the result na? already we have a variable what z already i am having a variable z i can declare one more variable but instead of doing that i'll use the same variable i'll say z is equal to what something what v1 plus v2 then i'll say right okay i'll use a chain operator new line i'll say what sum is sum is what sum is what z sum is z so let me check it now save check it no errors done when i execute i got the result is what sum is what 45 understood so this is a way to declare the variables as well as what initialize the variables hope it's clear <clears throat> done okay so we understood about the data keyword and we understood about what write keyword okay data keyword is for what declaring the variables and write is for displaying the Values in the variable. So again, let me say U line. Now just try to understand. I'll say data. So earlier two cases, what I did, I'm using data keyword for declaring variables of same type. What are they? Integers. Okay, here also I used what? Integers. Now I can declare multiple different variables of different data types. Suppose I'll say data. Okay. So I'll just give the variable name as V underscore X type I something some variable name type what integer okay v underscore y type what c okay uh, v underscore z uh, type what p p indicates what pack okay again you will get confused at this stage let me not use 
pack for the timing so i declared what integer and what character then so i declared two variables okay so if you come back to c c plus plus suppose i'll declare like this in text and i'll print the value of this x i'll say print of something percentage d and you'll say x what is the result i'll get i'll get what uh, garbage value garbage value in the sense we cannot expect the value we cannot predict the value we'll get some unexpected value but whereas here i declared two variables one variable is of type integer another variable is of type what c c indicates what character so i'll say here right let me print the value of that okay for your understanding i'll just give the message v underscore x is what is the variable name v underscore x comma okay again in the new line i'll say v underscore y is what is the variable name v underscore y so what i'm trying to show is i declare two variables of type integer and character i have not stored any data in that so if you take our c c plus is environment you'll get the unexpected value we cannot predict the value here let's see what the values i'll get save check it no errors done when i execute what i got v underscore x is zero and v underscore y is not space space so what is the understanding in above numeric data types are initialized to zero and character data types to what null i mean to say space i repeat in above numeric data types are initialized to what zeros and character data types to what space that is null values so there is a the default values for what integers and what characters okay now i'll store some value now v underscore x equal to something for something 48 and i'll say v underscore y is equal to i'll say something uh, what uh, gensoft okay or i'll say something gensoft technologies is it clear so in the v underscore x i'm initializing some value and v underscore y i'm printing some value let me check what is the result i'll get now if you print only i'll understand right so again i'm reprinting in the new line okay v underscore x and v underscore i'm printing so when i execute see now what i got v underscore x i got 48 0 is overwritten 48 v underscore y i got what g only g only y g only by default character occupies one byte one byte means it can store only what one character but you are trying to store what group of characters it is not capable of storing group of characters so i got only what single character value what i got g if you want to store group of characters what you will do let me say data i'll say something v underscore that some variable i'll say v underscore z of 10 type what c okay so this is nothing but called as what array of characters collection of what characters group of characters so it can store maximum how many characters 10 characters now i'll say v underscore z is equal to what the gems of technologies okay let me print the value of v underscore z so again for understanding i'll print a string here v underscore z is what v underscore z this is only to show the user and this is a variable which you are trying to print okay so the capacity of this variable is maximum 10 characters but i am trying to store what more than 10 characters so when i execute what i got gens of space 10 the space t overall 10 characters plus 7 plus 1 plus 2 space is also considered as what one character so what i am trying to show is if you don't give any width here by default it can store only one character here it can store what up to what 10 characters that is the way you have to work with what characters and you are going forward we'll see many examples any questions in this part <coughs> Then, so today we just understood how to develop how, how to declare variables how to print so in the next two four five days we'll see many uh, what uh, options many different keywords okay so this entire week we'll see the basic programming only just how to use different keywords what is the purpose of that 
actual usage you will understand when you go to what advanced uh, concepts okay so tomorrow we'll see how to read the input from the user just like in c language we have scanf in c plus we have c in okay so here also we'll see how to read the input from the user how to declare constant how to work with the decimal variables okay so all those things we'll start discussing from tomorrow onwards any questions for today please ask me done chalo then so i'll wind off we'll continue tomorrow uh, today i'll send you that uh, vendor details who provide that rental access if you are interested you can mail them or you can directly call them and take the system for rental for practice purpose okay chalo then so i'll wind off we'll meet tomorrow around 6:45 chalo <coughs>